All right, so on a fresh 2-0 victory so far. 2-0, 4-0. Maybe the 5-0 comes this league. We'll see. Do 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 Wow, over one minute queue, that's kind of surprising. All right, let's go. We have a black lotus up here. Oof. All right, let's keep starting out with Tron in hand, just feels awesome. Then on turn two, we get to go spyglass them and see what they're playing. We get to get all the information. Hopefully they're not playing blue-black again. That was definitely a scary match. Potential for them to be ahead of us was definitely pretty high. Hmm. What are they doing? They chose to keep their hand. At the very least, steam vents. I'm assuming this is Murktide Regent, in which case playing something on one is just going to feed into Spell Pierce. I don't feel like doing that right now. Let's check out what's in their hand. Pierce and Counterspell. Murktide, Regent, Odawara. Let's name Odawara. Let's get Relic out there. Sweet. Fell for it. Gotcha. That's what I really wanted to play. Three cards left in hand. Okay, we have to draw an out now. We need an out. It's expressive iteration. Okay, so they used up their counter spell. They used up one expressive iteration. They had a flooded strand, which they just played. That means they still have Odawara in hand. They put a monkey out. A monkey of all things. They knew what we were drawing into, so let's not try to hide it. Because they already know. Alright, monkey hits us in the face and they get to take a card. Scalding Tarn, that's what they drew into. Oh my gosh, this big monster. Why could we have drawn it? Consider, okay. So they're obviously filling up their graveyard for a reason, for this big old Merc Tad about to hit. And then just like we said, big old Merc Tad about to hit. Oh my gosh, yo. And we're steady drawing like a, a newbie.
good thing is they don't have more than seven mana. That's two, four, five. Ooh, a ballista. They could play that. Oh, they chose EI instead. They play the second iteration. So they have, and they played Murktide. So they have Spell Pierce, Lightning Bolt, Odawara. That we know about. And now another Flooded Strand, which they just played. So three of the cards in hand that they have, we know about them. Oh, they chose to play the Ballista on one. Ouch. Hmm, they choose to counter that? That's insane. They're gonna attack me and deal a total of two damage per turn now. One with this physical or a three damage per turn I should say. I right, make an attack, pump it up by one, deal two damage, ping me for one, deal one damage, three damage per turn. They finally played Odawara. They're looking at what we're drawing into, so they want all the information. Ah, they actually choose to do what I said, pump it up. Down to 11. They played that as well. They could not attack because they would have had to ping me for one. Maybe they don't realize Walking Ballista can ping and then attack. Might as well get Sanctum of Fug in here. Take a deal of three damage now. Attack for one. They have no mana left untapped. So if I get Walking Blessed, that's 6, 8, 9, 10. And let's go. One against Murta region pretty easily.
feels great. All right, let's get that in there. We know we're just naming Odawara. Let's get that in there because of Ravagan. That in there, Murktide. All right, let's see. What do we take out? Of course, we can go down on one Karn. Platinum Imperion. Hmm. This is a beast of a card. Karn Silex. Maybe one bridge on the side? Or Mystic Forge. I think we'll put Forge on the side. What else do I normally switch out? I feel like. Hmm. I feel like there's something else I normally switch out, but I feel like Karn's, Karn Liberators are good in this match just because I can precisely exile something. Did I take an Ensnare Bridge out? I did not, so this is perfect. And mine is what we had in exile, and we have three in hand, so we have seen. Oh, correction, two in hand. So we've seen two copies of mine. Huh, <laughs> two copies of mine. Maze Mind Tome seems to be what's best to put up first. Ledger Shredder. At least for us, we get to put out one of these guys. One of them. Most likely this guy. It gets us the Doctor Art draws pretty, pretty nicely. If we don't get Tron. We get to see four cards with this. And we get to see five cards with this. I think I have to go with the inscribed tablet here. Tower, mine, power plant. Man, inscribed tablet is just goaded. Absolutely goaded. So next turn, let's see. EI, Oof. so it looks like they're gonna be doing spell pierce. Sweet, this makes Ratchet Bomb perfect in this scenario. Because I got the swing in, uh, blow up Alpine Moon and Ravagan if it's out. It's just a good, awesome day. Mine tower power plant. Rat sheet bomb. Get at the one counter. Yield to the turn. Yield to the turn. Now he's considering a different route, huh? Or looking for land. Okay, they're mainly trying to use Ledger Shredder to win. Seems like. They put one mana out, which means that they have enough for Spell Pierce and that's all. Or they have Force of Negation in hand, but I doubt it. Now watch this victory right here. Ah, we 
got him. Got him. Oof. Dex performing extremely well. All right, let's go.